In this video, I will show you how to go from this to this using a secret feature that most Notion users don't even know about. Actually, it's one of the easiest ways to make your workspace 10 times more aesthetic and functional. Hey, I'm William. I create advanced Notion systems to help you organize your life, and I teach you how to do it. Today, diving into layouts, one of Notion's most underrated new features. Basically, layouts let you organize how the properties inside your database pages are organized. It means that each database can now have its own unique layout. It also helps clean up your pages. For example, you can bring the most important properties to the top and hide the ones you don't need all the time, which makes everything easier to read and more aesthetic. Let me show you an example using one of my own templates. So this is what the page used to look like. All the content stacked in one long column with the properties on top and no real structure. So not bad, but it's kind of confusing. Now with layouts, I have completely reorganized it. I have different tabs, different sections for each part of the system. Some content is hidden by default. I can collapse parts I don't always need. And overall, it's just way more intuitive to use. And the best part is it only took me a few minutes to set this up. Okay, now that you've seen what layouts are and why they matter, let's go a bit deeper. I'll walk you through every feature you need to know to make the most out of this new customization tool. So as an example, I've created a new database with a few properties to show you how it works. There are two main ways to open the layout builder. First, you can open a page inside a database. Obviously, this won't work from a regular page. Then hover over the title and just click Customize Layout. The other option is clicking the three dots in the top right corner, then Customize Layout. So this is the layout builder interface with different parts to it. At the top, you have the heading, which shows your page title and up to four pinned properties. You can choose which properties appear here by clicking the pin button on the right. You can also adjust how backlinks show up. So either always show, show on hover or simply off. Below the heading is the main area, which can fill using properties isolated as modules, which we will see in a moment. The reason you would do that usually is to highlight key properties, for example. Or there is also the property group, which you can see here. This is where all your database properties live by default. But once you move them somewhere else, so either in the heading or to the side panel, they disappear from this group. So in here, you can add new or existing properties. You can show or hide current individual properties, organize properties into sections, drag properties between sections, or even edit the property settings right from this group. Finally, on the right side, you have the details panel. In here, you can add new or existing properties, add the whole property group if you want, or add modules from your main page, which we will see in a moment. You can open or close this panel anytime when viewing the page by clicking the hide sidebar button from this interface or the view details from the page interface. You can either access page settings from the top left corner of the layout builder or simply by clicking in the blank area uh, between the main parts. Inside page settings, you can change the structure of the page from simple layout where everything appears either in the main page or the details panel or tab layout where you can add tabs to organize content and views of other databases. You can also change how inline comments show, so either default or minimal, show or hide page discussions, which will hide the small section at the bottom of the page, which can make it a bit cleaner. You can hide property icons as well, uh, which will hide all the icons here, which can be useful if you haven't modified them or just feel like they are useless in your situation. And finally, you can switch to full width view, meaning that each new page in this database will automatically have its width set to large, which can then only notice when pages are opened in full page. At the top of the builder, you can click the preview button to select any page template or page in your database and preview the content from this one instead. Once your layout is ready, uh, just hit apply to all pages which will apply to every page in that database, even new ones. And if you want to undo everything and go back to the default view, click the drop down next to that and select reset to original page layout. Now to highlight a property as its own modules, 
just click the plus button in your main page or from the details panel. From there, you can add a new property, select an already existing one, drag and drop uh, modules wherever you want, and you can also use the three dots button to move to either your main page, the side panel, or even up and down in the different sections. However, please be aware that you cannot move or remove the heading or the property group entirely. So even if, let's say, you add all properties as standalone modules in the main page, the property group will still be there. So what you can do in this case, what I like to do is to use the side panel as a way to hide it, along with other properties that don't need to be shown. And that's exactly what we are about to see now. So we will just start from a basic layout as if you had just created your first database and added a few properties. So I hope the theory was clear enough. If it was a bit too fast, don't worry. I'll explain to you step by step how we can actually use Notion layouts and make this page look as good as we can. So first, let's add one or two database pages and fill in the properties data. Okay, so now let's open a page. Currently, as you can see, all the properties are on top of each other, which is okay, but not great. So let's change that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on Customize Layout. Then we're going to add all the properties from the property group to the layouts as standalone modules, and we'll see what options we have for each of them. So the layout is a personal preference, so I will just show you what I like doing. So let's just start by pinning some properties. The properties that I usually like to pin are the buttons, the date and also the statuses. Let's also toggle off the property labels and the backlinks. Now let's hide the properties that I think are useless to be shown within a page and that I think would be more suited to be shown in different database views. So as you may have noticed, I have pinned two button properties at the top. One is used to check or uncheck the checkbox property depending on whether it is already checked or not. But it's actually just a fancy way to check the box using a button instead of doing it directly. The other one just adds plus one to the number value of this page. And there is also a formula that shows the current number with a bit more style, but it's not that useful within this view. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hide both views from the main page. So what I could do is drag them to the details panel, that's one option, or I could click on the three dots menu and add to property group, which is conveniently already hidden. Now I can even set the visibility to always hide if I really want the properties to be hidden. So now we've got four remaining properties to take care of. So since this is not a real world example, they are not renamed and there is no clear way to sort and organize them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the image at the top, the number in second, text at third, and finally the multi-select property. Now if I want to change the property settings, I'm gonna start with the image. So I've chosen to add a rather vertical image. So it's gonna look a lot better if I pick the portrait option. And then I can add as many images as possible and the same format will be applied to all of them. Now, there's a lot of different ways to display numbers. So let's put this in USD with, for example, zero decimal places, show it as a ring. Let's put this in blue, for example, divided by 100, perfect. And finally, I could even hide or show the number if I wanted to. But the nice touch that came with Notion layouts is that numbers, when they are added as modules, are now displayed as large by default, which you can just turn off to small if you don't like it. And finally, there's not much to do with the text and multi-select properties. Now it's gonna get a little bit more advanced. So as you can see, I've created a relation property linking to another database, and I've also linked three different pages from this new database. So for now, it's just another module, but by clicking the three dots in the top right hand corner, you will notice that there is a new option. So advanced and convert to relations group, which again is only available 
for relation properties. And by clicking that, it will turn the entire module to a relations group, a bit similar to the property group, but this one cannot be dragged to the details panel. So for now, this is the only relations in this group, but I could potentially add as many as I want. And now I can decide how I want to show this relation as either as page section or as minimal, which I like more and which makes more sense for what we will do now. Indeed, now that this is done, I'm going to show you the last feature of Notion layouts that really make this difference between a decent database and a real connected system. So we're going to open the page settings, basically turn everything off, but again, this is up to you. But what we really want to do is change the structure option to tabbed. By default, this will create your first tab, which you can, by the way, rename here and containing the main page and properties that we've been setting up during this video. And now what we want to do is click the plus button to add a new tab. And now you've got two options, either display a view of a database, which is linked to the current one. So in my case, there is only one, the one I have created a relation property for, or you can link it to any database in your workspace, even if it is completely unrelated to the current database. So I'm just going to choose the first option. And as you can see, it creates a table view of the database that I've chosen. So I will not be explaining exactly how database views work in this video. This would be the topic for another one, but the settings are basically exactly the same. However, I will show you the specificity of database views in tabs when you have chosen the first option like I did. So from a database, which is actually related to the current one. And this difference is that, as you can see, the filter button is already blue. And if I click that, that's because this view is already pre-filtered to show only pages which are linked to the current one that I am previewing. So what this means is that anytime I create a page in this database, it will apply the tab structure to it. And the new view will filter only the pages linked to the one I just created. So if I were to preview another page, now the view will be empty because the relation property is empty as well. So in the end, this is what the page used to look like. And now this is what it looks like. So now you know everything about how to master the layout builder in Notion. I hope that you got value from this video. If you did, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. This is the first video of the channel and I've got plenty more coming to help you learn Notion. You can also let me know what type of content you would like to see next. And if you want to go further with Notion, you will find free and premium Notion templates in my website. The link is in the description. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.